This video lesson, divided into six parts, is intended for fire behavior specialists, such as long-term analysts and fire behavior analysts, who will be contributing to strategic level risk assessments on wildfire incidents. It presumes that the LTAN or FBAN is familiar with the Wildland Fire Decision Support System, or WIFDIS, and the tools commonly used in geospatial fire behavior analysis, and the weather products produced by Predictive Services and the National Weather Service. This lesson will explain what risk assessment is, how fire behavior specialists contribute to the development of a risk assessment, and how risk assessments fit into the big picture of wildland fire decision making. Specifically, we'll cover the fire behavior specialist's role in completing the relative risk assessment and the extended risk assessment for wildfire incidents. The objectives for these video lessons are, Define the basic risk assessment terminology and concepts used in wildland fire decision making at multiple levels. Explain the role of the long-term analyst, fire behavior analyst, and strategic operational planner in wildfire risk assessment at the strategic level. Demonstrate how to complete the relative risk assessment with appropriate annotations. Describe how the elements of hazards and probability can be quantified as part of an extended risk assessment. Describe an effects analysis and its use in an extended risk assessment. Describe how assumptions, limitations, and uncertainties can be addressed in the extended risk assessment. And finally, list the principles of an effective extended risk assessment. These objectives will be covered throughout the series of video lessons. Part one of the strategic level risk assessment for fire behavior specialists is introduction to risk. This section defines risk and risk assessment for the purposes of this lesson and identifies the three core elements of both. What is risk? Risk science offers up multiple definitions of risk and its components and processes. Even within the fire management profession, definitions of risk vary significantly. Simply stated, risk is the possibility of suffering harm or loss. The definition of risk from the 2013 Interagency Standards for Fire and Fire Aviation Operations defines risk as the likelihood or possibility of hazardous consequences in terms of severity or probability. In addition, the International Organization for Standardization has recently revised the definition of risk as the effect of uncertainty on achieving objectives, thus causing the word risk to refer to positive possibilities as well as negative ones. This is a key paradigm shift in the way we characterize risk, and this definition has yet to be fully integrated into wildland fire operations. In the risk assessment framework used in this lesson, the three core elements of risk are values, hazards, and probability. What is a risk assessment? For the purpose of this lesson, risk assessment is defined as a focused collection of products, processes, and analyses that organizes information and assigns ratings, be they relative, qualitative, or quantitative, to risks for the purpose of informing priorities developing or comparing courses of action, and informing decision-making. The three core elements of the risk assessment explored in this lesson are values, hazards, and probabilities. As noted with both of these definitions, the three core elements of risk and risk assessments are values, hazards, and probability, and these elements form the basis of developing and organizing the risk assessments covered in this lesson. Values are ecological, social, and economic interests that could be affected by fire. Some examples of values that are often threatened by wildfire are human life, homes, local communities, visitor attractions, power lines, watersheds, wildlife habitat, endangered species, air quality, commercial and non-commercial timber, historic structures, and cultural artifacts. Values are everything we care about, and some values are more important than others. For every value identified in the area potentially affected by the fire, decisions are made related to that value. For example, is the value important enough that it needs to be protected? And if so, what actions need to occur to protect it? Is the value capable of withstanding some level of fire intensity without damage? If so, what is that level? The hazards element of risk assessment involves determining what are the hazards to the identified values. 
In the types of risk assessment we are discussing in this lesson, the hazard is the fire itself, and we need to analyze what the potential intensity of the fire might be under a range of conditions. For many values, the hazard, characterized by fire intensity, determines the degree of potential damage caused by the fire. The probability element of risk assessment focuses on determining the likelihood, for example, low or high, or 20%, that the hazard, meaning the fire, is going to affect the value that is located in the planning area. At its most basic level, a risk assessment is an assessment or collection of analyses that determines the probability that the hazards will affect the values. Ideally, a risk assessment should inform the probability of the likely magnitude of the hazard to a value, and examples later in these lessons will explain this concept further. Remembering this relationship will help you develop and organize your contributions to the risk assessment.